let's say that sine of theta is equal to 9 over 41 and that cosine theta is less than 0. Find the values of the other remaining trigonometric functions, this 5 remaining. Now first, we need to determine the quadrant. Sine is equal to positive 9 over 4, I mean 9 over 41. So sine is positive in quadrants 1 and 2. Cosine is less than 0. Cosine is negative in quadrants 2 and 3. So therefore, the triangle has to be in quadrant 2. So let's draw it there. So here's the angle theta, and sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Therefore, 9 corresponds to the opposite side, and 41 is the hypotenuse of the triangle. So this is 41, and this part is 9. Now this is the 9-40-41 triangle. Now that we have all three sides of the triangle, we can find the other values. X is going to be negative in quadrant 2. But y is positive. Cosine theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. Negative 40 is the adjacent side. So cosine is going to be negative 40 divided by 41. Tangent theta is opposite divided by adjacent. So it's 9 over negative 41. Secant is a reciprocal of cosine. So it's negative 41 over 40. Cosecant is the reciprocal of sine, so it's 41 over 9. I just flip this fraction. And cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent, so it's going to be negative 41 over 9. Now let's say that cosine theta is equal to 1 over 3, and tangent theta is less than 0. So go ahead and find the other five remaining trigonometric functions. Cosine is positive in quadrants 1 and 4. Tangent is negative in quadrants 2 and 4. So therefore, we got to draw the triangle in quadrant 4. That's when both statements are true. Now, cosine is equal to the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. So if cosine theta is 1 over 3, 3 is the hypotenuse, 1 is the adjacent side. Now we've got to find a missing side. So let's use the Pythagorean theorem. A is 1, we're looking for the missing side B, and C is 3. So 3 squared is 9, and 9 minus 1 is 8. So B is equal to the square root of 8, and 8 is 4 times 2. So B is 2, square root 2. That's the missing side. Now, in quadrant 4, y is negative. Now, we can find everything else. Sine theta is going to be equal to the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. So, sine theta is negative 2 square root 2 over 3. Now, we already have cosine. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So, it's negative 2 square root 2 over 1. Secant is the reciprocal of cosine, so if cosine is 1 over 3, secant is 1 divided by 1 over 3, or simply 3. Cosecant is the reciprocal of sine, so it's going to be negative 3 over 2 square root 2, and we need to rationalize it. So this becomes negative 3 square root 2 divided by 2 times. The square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is 2, and 2 times 2 is 4. So cosecant is negative 3 square root 2 over 4. And cotangent is going to be the reciprocal of this function. So it's negative 1 over 2 square root 2. And once we rationalize it, it's negative square root 2 divided by 4. Here's another one. Let's say that secant is equal to negative 4. And sine is greater than 0. Go ahead and find the other five trigonometric functions. Now, secant is 1 over cosine. So if secant 
is negative 4 cosine is negative 1 over 4. Cosine is negative in quadrants 2 and 3. Sine is positive in quadrants 2 and 1. So we need to draw the triangle in quadrant 2. Now cosine is equal to the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. So x is negative in quadrant 2. The hypotenuse is positive. Now let's find the missing side. So a is negative 1. We're looking for the missing side b. And c is 4. Negative 1 squared is positive 1. 4 squared is 16. And 16 minus 1 is 15. So b is equal to the square root of 15. And y is positive in quadrant 2. So this is the adjacent side, hypotenuse, and root 15 represents the opposite side. Now let's find the value of sine theta. Sine theta is going to be the opposite side, square root 15, divided by the hypotenuse, which is 4. Cosecant is the reciprocal of sine, so it's 4 over square root 15. And if we rationalize it, this becomes 4 square root 15 divided by 15. So that's the value of cosecant. Next, we have uh, tangent theta. And that's equal to the opposite side, which is square root 15 divided by the adjacent side, and that's negative 1. Cotangent theta is going to be the reciprocal of that. But we're going to have to rationalize this value. So cotan theta is going to be negative square root 15 divided by 15. And so that's it for this problem.